in this uh, video we're going to be looking at uh, the property of ASP.NET known as the view state um, the view state is a, a property of ASP.NET that will allow the web page to preserve the state across multiple page requests of the controls while it is being processed on the server uh, for example if there is a label with a value on it. Say for example we have a label with a value of zero just like we did in the last video. So every time that you send the page to the server for processing because of the uh, HTTP protocol which is a stateless protocol the state of the controls will not be preserved. So that means a new value will be assigned to the controls or the default value every time the server uh, send the page back so by default all controls view states are enabled so let me explain what I mean so for example if we have a value of zero uh, on a label so what happens is every time you uh, click on the button to say to update the uh, value on the label if the uh, view states are, en are not enabled on the label control that means the value will always remain the same it will not change because the HTTP request on its own doesn't have a state which means that uh, your server will be sending you brand new pages every time so it will be sending you a brand new page it will not preserve the state of uh, of the page when uh, when it was when it was received but uh, ASP.NET has this feature built in which is called view state which allows the page to actually maintain the state it was in so that you it, uh, the state will not be changed for example if you have a drop down uh, menu and you've selected a value so when you send the page again to the server maybe you click on uh, another link on the page if you send the page back to the server again on the return the brand new page will be sent back so that means the value will be lost if you do not enable the view state property of ASP.NET so some of this example includes maybe the text on the label or the drop-down list selected value or even your website background color so all these uh, states could be lost ASP.NET uh, view state can be observed by looking at the source page which I'm going to show you in a minute uh, the amount of data being preserved by the view state hidden form can be an, it can be a disadvantage. If the amount of data of the view state of the view state form becomes very large, then it can slow down the rendering of the page. Um, what this means is that uh, if you have so many controls in your web pages which which are, which are being updated every time a new uh, page request is made uh, because these values are stored back and forth every time you send um, uh, every time you send your page down to the server for processing that means the value could be large you know because this data they're always going to be growing bigger and bigger for every page request uh, this is because that this large data must be sent back and forth every time a page is posted back to the server and rendered back to the browser so the uh, every time you send uh, the browser to to the server you are actually send in this large data with it as well because it's the actually I think it's a good idea to uh, show you what I mean now so that you <laughs> understand what that means so um, if we run this website now this is the same website we created in the last page as you can see we get a result of one now so because uh, uh, because this uh, view state has been enabled that's why uh, we got the uh, result of one so if we click on the second button as well it's going to give us a two and so on no matter which button we click we get uh, an increase in value but this is because ASP.NET has this one to be built in if it's just a normal uh, HTML that you send to the browser then that means you're always going to get the same value all the time because um, unless you write a code in PHP or any other uh, uh, or ASP.NET or maybe JSP to preserve the page on every page request so let me show you the hidden form if you go to view and you say page source if you go to page source to view the, so uh, the source code of your website you can see here which one which says uh, type equals to hidden 
name equals to uh, underscore view state id underscore view state and this is the value so this is the value of the view state so every time you send this back to the server the server understand what this means it, it, it is going to uh, open up this uh, uh, encrypted stuff and it's going to look inside to see the values of each of the controls that has been preserved and uh, if it's going to be added to it it's going to add to it then send it back to the uh, browser again so um, I was saying that uh, almost every controls uh, in ASP.NET has uh, this to be built in so the amount of data being used by the control view state uh, can be monitored using the trace attribute of the page directives which I'm going to show you now so if you set the trace equals to true in the page directory you remember the page directories that we talked about in one of our uh, first videos so when you do this then the bottom of the page will be appended with extra information which we which we can use to view the amount of data being used by different controls uh, if you don't need to preserve the view state of a control you can turn it off in the property window or use the enable view state equals to force in the control tag so let me show you what that means so if we go back to our page uh, we can uh, view the uh, source of what is happening amount of data being used by just enabling this is the called the page directive just like I said if you set trace to be equals to true let's set trace to be true then so when we run our website now you'll be it will get extra information on what our page is doing if you go to so this is the same so let's uh, before we click on I'm supposed to show you uh, okay as you can see here if you go under the control tree you can see that the button 2 they have zero view state size this is the view state size in bytes if you think about it we're not preserving the uh, uh, the uh, view state of the button we're only preserving for the label so the label one is the one that has been updated and we need to preserve the data that's on it so at the moment the size is 20 uh, bytes so let's try let's go ahead and click click these buttons a few more times let's say maybe we can go to all the way to 10 or 15 so we can increase the size so you can see this uh, size this size change don't worry about this uh, trace information we're still going to talk about it about what your pages are doing every time you um, you, you you request a page from the server so so let's go ahead and increase the size to 4 to 15 so let's see if the uh, size as, as you can see previously it was 20 but now the label 1 the view state uh, byte uh, size and byte is now 24 bytes so as you can see this um, um, this can get large especially if you have a lot of controls that are preserving their data every time you request so this uh, the size of the page can go bigger and that means it can affect your load time so now that we have seen that let's disable uh, trace information from the page directives so let's disable uh, trace information from the uh, page directives so we just go ahead and delete this trace information from the or you can just set it to false so what we want to do now is we can uh, the way to disable you can disable uh, you, you can disable in two ways if you want to disable a view state you can disable in two ways if we take this button and go to enabled view state you can see that it's currently set to true for the button too so you can go ahead and set it to false if you set it to false let's set it to false and go back to the source code so the second way you can do it is actually write it in the tag itself so you can see you can write it inside this tag and say enable view state equals to false but uh, well, I'm, I'm going to delete this but I'm going to set it uh, I'm going to enable I'm going to disable the view state for the label so you can actually see what I was talking about so uh, we're gonna set this to false so you should know exactly what is going to happen now so if we run the website we shouldn't get uh, we should only get the first result from the web server any other result after that will not be preserved so um, right now 
is set to zero so if i click on this any of this button the calculations will be done on the server and uh, send back to results and after that there's be, there won't be any more results to be sent so the page the uh the server will just be sending us a a brand new so let's go ahead it becomes one but if you click on the second one you see the uh the value is now increasing because the uh, state of it has the uh, view state has been disabled so the uh, the the uh, further request is now being preserved so this is what I was to explain to you about the view state so I think I hope you find it useful and uh, it shows you how you can preserve the state of your control so watch the next video thank you